Hello friends, Brian King, the Mindset King here. Let me ask you this. Are there specific things that you've avoided doing over the years because you were afraid you'd mess up or you were uncomfortable with it, but then suddenly the situation arose where you had to do it, so you made yourself do it, and it ended up okay. It ended up going better than you thought it would. Well, I had a situation like that this morning. As you know, I have MS and it often affects the strength of my hands, the coordination of my fingers, so writing is very difficult. And what I typically do on my computer is I will use a dictation program or you know, some other version of speech to text so that I don't have to use my hands and wear them out so much. Well, I had to address many envelopes this morning, you know, business related stuff, government, all that fun nonsense. And I started filling them out with my left hand, which quickly became difficult. I mean, within seconds. My hand was cramping up. It was becoming tired. My writing was becoming illegible. And I'm thinking to myself, I can't use speech to text for this. What do I do? You know, I didn't want to call one of my boys to fill these things out for me because their handwriting is frankly worse than mine. So what did I have left? I'm a lefty, first of all. And if my left hand wasn't cooperating, and I had all of this addressing to do, and I couldn't use speech to text, what would I, what was left for me to use? Well, the answer was my right hand. And I'm not ambidextrous, you know, meaning I don't use both sides of my body equally. But I gave it a shot. I picked up the pen, and I started addressing with my right hand, and lo and behold, I was writing smoothly, I was writing legibly, and it was far easier than with my left hand. Now, for a little more context, my MS is impacting the left side of my body more than my right. So my left leg is the one that gives out the most. Uh, I feel more pain in the left side of my body than in the right, and so on. So my using my right hand was almost like having a brand new hand. No, I didn't have any of the issues I had with the left hand. So the interesting lesson here is as much as I encourage people to lean on technology for an accommodation, it turns out sometimes the answer that you need is right at the end of your arm, the other arm. You know, you can, other, you can underestimate just what you're capable of physically because of your own limiting beliefs as far as how your body works. In my case, telling myself, I'm left-handed. I write with my left hand. Oh my goodness, I can't write if I can't use my left hand. Wrong. Turns out I could use my right hand just fine. I just never really explored that. So something that simple can escape you if you're locked into your beliefs about the way things work. So I wanted to share this with you, not only to encourage you to start writing or drawing with your non-dominant hand, but to recognize beliefs for what they are. When you tell yourself that something is this way, period, that could very well be a limiting or a fixed belief that makes you blind to solutions that are right in front of you. So when you feel or hear yourself saying these things, stop and ask yourself, is that really true or is that assumed? How can I test the truthfulness of this? I tested it out by picking up a pen with my right hand and giving it a go. And as it turned out, the belief that I'm a left-handed writer is incorrect. Do I prefer my left hand? Yeah, it's what I'm used to. But am I locked into it? Absolutely not. So I'm going to be leaving in a little while to go and mail these big envelopes that I addressed with my right hand. So that's something that I wanted to share with you. Hopefully it's been helpful. Leave me a comment or shoot me off a message. Let me know what you think. By all means, share this with a bunch of people you know that can benefit from it. And if you ever want to talk to me, I offer free 15-minute consults for anybody that wants to pick my brain or needs a little help. And I will drop a link below so that you can make that appointment. And until we talk next time, this has been Brian. Thanks for being you.